So uh, some of the Atheism Plus proponents have, over the past few weeks, asked me why I have the impression, or why, where I'm getting the impression that the Atheism Plus stuff in general uh, isn't supportive of sex workers' rights or uh, sex worker concerns. Um, and I'm going to try to uh, explain to you how I get that impression, what gives me that impression. You know, uh, it's not that people are unwilling to learn. You know, it's, it's not really, it's not so much about the people who have been over at the forum. There have been people that have participated in the threads about the issue. It's not really about that, but it's about how some of the big name bloggers out there uh, have this tendency to um, post about things that are frankly bait for some of these, you know, the liberal, libertarian, white dudes. You know, they'll, they'll, they post things that are supposed to be bait about those, you know, for those people. Um, but a lot of those things, there is a crossover where it's actually a sex worker issue, you know. Or, you know, if you're, if you're looking at it from the sex worker position and that angle, it's a sex worker issue. And so people are using these things as bait. And... It's becoming more and more and more common, you know, and that's why I keep showing up and, and complaining. And I know that a lot of people are thinking, gosh, she keeps thinking it's always about sex work. Not everything's about sex work, but, but actually the stuff that you're talking about, there's a lot that sex workers could say about it. You know, you're actively perpetuating some of the stereotypes that are a problem. You're actively perpetuating some of the rhetoric that is a problem, you know, and it's like, I just, uh, let me, let me try to give you some specific examples of the sort of stuff I'm talking about, okay? And I didn't go looking for any of these things. This is stuff that I just stumbled upon, you know, and I'm sure if I actually did go looking, I could find a lot more. But, but here's the examples that I've seen over the past few weeks. Uh, here's a thread, a post from Ophelia Benson, where she's got a, a, a quote from a book review of this book of Caitlin Moran, and, Moran, and it says, uh, it mentions protesting porn and stripping, and then another thing at the bottom, and she's like, oh, sounds radical, watch out. You know, now this, I, I could say, it's, I would think it's meant to sort of be bait to those types of guys who would be showing up to complain about her wanting to protest porn and stripping. But who else would show up to complain about her wanting to protest that? Well, the people in the porn and the strippers, the sex workers. You know, so even though she might not be putting this out here for sex workers to come bite the bait, sex workers do, and a sex worker did. And it wasn't me, by the way, if anybody's wondering. But a sex worker bit the bait, you know, and... uh and left a, what I thought was a pretty reasonable, middle-of-the-road sort of, well, I thought it was a middle-of-the-road comment, but reasonable. And then one of the commenters responds back, how dare you say you like sex? What are you trying to do? Suggest we don't. Don't you get it? You know, cultural pressure and beauty ideals, blah, 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 and all this stuff. And then somebody tries to offer a defense of that commenter, and then the, the, um, the left side positive is who it was. She launches into the defender. But the, the person who's still the object of the attack, the target of the attack, is still the original commenter who was a person who was talking about when they had done sex work. You know, so even though that, that original post might not have been purposeful bait for sex workers or pro-sex work people, you know, and then a sex worker who, who pops in to give some sort of, you know, defense to the thing of, hey, let's stop telling people how to live and, and sex work was okay, wasn't terrible, blah, you know, it's attacked. And Ophelia Benson just allowed it to happen. She never piped up and said, hey, folks, let's not be so mean, you know. Nothing like that. So there's an example of something maybe not meant to target sex workers, but actually ended up getting one of them in the line of fire. There is... Um, well, there's this post from PZ Myers, which is just uh, this comic strip taken out of context. But, you know, and it, it's meant to bait a certain sort of person. 
And I don't know if he actually cares that it's going to also bait sex workers or possibly could or sends them a signal. And even in the thread, he's saying shit like, you know, oh, as long as you're not some woman who thinks they're, you know, this is such, you know, PZ Myers is really, he doesn't get it. And he, I know he doesn't care. Maybe he does get it and he doesn't care and it's purposeful. I don't know. But shit like this. And then the more recent thread of his where he's talking about how he's ready to be divisive and he uses the word receptacle to, you know, refers to women as receptacles. And I know it's supposed to be okay because it's not that he thinks that women are receptacles. He's just saying that that other guy considers women to be receptacles. Well, that is a classic anti-sex work rad femme thing that they use to talk about the clients of prostitutes, you know, and clients of sex workers. Oh, these are the types of people who just think of women as receptacles. It's misogyny. Eh. You know, it's fucking classic rad femme tactic and bullshit, which the target might not be a sex worker or the client of a sex worker, but the message is the same. The signal is the same. You know, there's stuff like this post from uh, Stephanie Zvon where, where, you know, it starts off asking or saying, hey, people ask us about how we're going to agree on solutions, you know, and hey, but then, but then it switches up and she says, okay, we'll decide which solutions are best by critically examining which is better, the gender feminism or the equity feminism, and I don't agree with either of those categories. I think they're kind of broad, but I know that under the gender feminism is included that anti-porn, anti-prostitution feminism. You know, but the point is that if she had phrased her question differently, if she had said, hey, people ask us how we are going to decide on solutions. Well, let's take a look at what solutions have been offered and see what's wrong with them. You know, if she had asked for criticisms of gender feminist solutions, I could have offered her quite a bit of information. Other sex workers could have offered her quite a bit, quite a bit of information. Because the, the gender feminist solutions have had a huge effect and a detrimental effect for sex workers. But that, that entire line of inquiry was closed off because of the way that she framed this challenge. And I showed up and I said, hey, it's too bad you didn't ask the question differently because I would have offered you this PDF right here. You know? But nobody wanted that evidence. Nobody wanted that. And then when, and when I finally explained to them what the connection was, you know, I get this disingenuous, condescending bullshit about, oh, it's not really about you. It's just about those white male dudes, you know? They're the ones we want to fight with. Well, that's nice and everything, you know? But you're giving this weak sauce, weaselly defense of gender feminism and excluding with your frame any ability for people to offer criticism of gender feminist solutions. I mean, it was ridiculous. It was like, she's telling me, oh, look, it's not about you, even though the gender feminist solutions have a hugely detrimental effect on your life and your safety. Fuck, fuck you. Nobody wants to hear it. And don't derail my thread because this is all about those terrible white dudes who claim to be, you know, equity feminists. Really? That's how you're doing social justice? You're focusing on those dudes instead of actual problems with solutions? I mean, what the fuck? Shit like that. Shit like that sends me a real clear signal when things are purposely, you know, constructed in such a way as to exclude sex worker criticisms. Then there's the... Um, Oh, well, the, the chill girl queen bee stuff, you know, where they, they, they're defending their usage of that and they don't mean certain people. They only mean the people they mean. And somehow they're going to determine whether the people actually deserve that sort of, you know, um, label. They're going to be able to determine all that over the Internet, of course. You know, it, but it's so much... It's exactly the same as that stupid, you know, when they call you sex posse or fun femme and shit. It's that same sort of stuff, you know, where, where it's, it's almost against, in my opinion, it's almost always been used against people who are defending sex workers' rights and concerns and trying to talk about that stuff. You know, this sends me a real big signal, the defending of these sorts of concepts and stuff. 
And then there's the more recent thing, the uh, uh, Comrade Physioprof thread post where he takes this, this Twitter exchange completely out of context. And, you know, I feel I'm so frustrated with this because it's yet another thing where of, you know, it's like I'm complaining about, oh, this stuff was taken out of context, but I don't necessarily agree with everything this guy said. I think that some of his arguments are kind of problematic. I can understand where he's coming from. If he was using them against a, a different person, it might have been a better argument. You know, I got a lot of criticisms. But, but the, the entire context of the discussion was omitted. You know, the, this, the context was a, a, about sex work and about prostitution. You know, not even mentioned. It's yet another signal that, that these folks have no interest in learning about the sex work issues or in considering how their constant attacks against these these dudes actually is also an attack against sex workers and sex workers rights I'm, i you know or i guess you know it's not that it's an attack it's that it's this neglect this omission you know that if the entire conversation had been included well there wouldn't have been any point really for the blog post it would have just led to Oh, a probably relatively informative, run-of-the-mill, probably somewhat contentious thread discussing sex work issues. But I guess there's no interest in discussing those things, not here on this, in this blog. You know, there's lots of interest in taking things and using them as bait for certain people. But then when it comes to actually addressing the issues that are underneath all that stuff, it's just nothing. No, no, you know, they don't even want to do that. Even as the people, you know, even as the person who was fighting with Shrub Blogger says, oh, these are people that we don't listen to much, and blah, 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 blah. You know, nobody seems really willing to listen, and yet people seem more than willing to use this sort of bait out there that actually has an effect on sex workers. And then you exclude us and get pissed off when we try to bring attention to the, to the way that your rhetoric and the way you're doing the shit that you're doing is having a detrimental effect. You know, or at least it's, it's enabling and reinforcing the, the bad frickin' narratives that enable the, bad, the, the detrimental effects. I'm so, I'm so fucking sick of it. You know, and it's shit like this that gives me the impression that the Atheism Plus folks, the big names, have no interest and in, in being supportive of sex worker concerns, because if they were, they would not be using this sort of shit as the bait. And then excluding and, and letting their commenters bully sex workers who show up in the threads. If they actually gave a crap, they would stop doing that, and they would listen to our criticisms about the way they continue to do that. You know... That's, that's the biggest thing. I know people think that it's an issue of just... Oh, of course we support sex workers' rights and, and, and everything, and we're for legal safety and stuff. But you have no idea how, the, how so many of the way, you know, the, the frames of your arguments are a huge part of the problem. I don't know. I don't know if this... I don't know. But I guess that's I guess that's it for now. I don't know how much of this made sense, but anyway, yeah, thanks for listening. Bye.